Yeah, it's actually a French re-import. Okay, yeah. We have 190 eagles. <gasps> Do we? Yes! Oh, look at that! We've got another one behind us. Give him a wave, yeah! <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Life With My Classic, where we celebrate classic Mercedes-Benz models that aren't garage queens, they're daily driven, just the way they should be. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you guys to Shireen Rordy's and a classic 90 saloon that I just know you're gonna love. Shireen, good to meet Hi, you. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And good, you? good, good. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. Now, before we talk about your Mercedes 190, tell me, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Shireen. I'm 26 years old and I work as a vehicle engineer. Amazing. So 26 years old and you've got yourself a classic Mercedes. Tell me a little bit about how that story unfolded. Uh, so it starts with a little bit of family background. Uh, my family is very involved with this generation of classic Mercedes and my mom had a silver 190E uh, when I was really young and then I decided at nine years old I wanted to get one myself, a black one with a really nice sound system. Amazing and you've had this car a while haven't you? Yes, uh, actually that's the 10th year anniversary this year. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you. And the thing I like most about your 190E Shireen is that we've got a five-speed manual gearbox. Why not the auto? Uh, so as a student driver, I really wanted to learn how to drive this car, especially a classic car. It needs a little bit more skill to drive that. And also the um, five-speed gearbox is special on that car. Um, normally you would get a four gearbox. So yeah, so you very reliable. So you're, you're a reliable driver yourself, your car's reliable. And totally. tell me why a classic Mercedes? You could have gone for something modern. Uh, yes, of course. So first of all, as a student, um, it was a really easy car to maintain because um, it's very, very reliable for one and it's not very expensive to repair if something needs to be done yeah. and you can mostly do it yourself. So Amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, I think those are fine choices for me. Anyway, uh, shall we have a little poke around? I think so. So let's start with one of my favorite things about this car, it's actually the star, because when I was nine years old and my mom had this silver 190E, um, when we had to sell it, she recently just bought a new star and my dad really, really carefully removed it from this car and I kept it until I was 16 when I got this car and uh, we put it in this car and it's actually the original star. Amazing, this is the original one yes. from your mum? It hasn't been stolen yet. It hasn't I hope been it stays that way. Yes, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it does stay that way. What a wonderful story. I really, really like that. So Thank you. Shall we move back a little bit? Tell me yes. a little bit more. So maybe we can talk a little bit about the Aloe wheels yep. because uh, those are actually AMG wheels um, from the next generation of the C-Class, so the first original C-Class and um, had these wheels, but I think they fit the car perfectly. I agree, I agree, they do look really, really cool. And what's also special about the car is it has an airbag because it's one of the last 190Es that were built. Um, it had a lot of features that other 190Es didn't have. Um, that was very important to me and also to my dad who chose this particular car. I said I wanted it in black paint yep. and he said you need an airbag. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And the interior looks really, really good. Is that original? Uh, no, it's not. Those are actually seat covers. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> to protect the original <laughs> seat. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think they look quite good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the door cards here, they all look really yeah. nice as well. Yeah, they're original. So, yeah, good um, stuff. It looks like a very, very inviting cabin. I like it. One of my favorite things about this car is the sound system. Uh, it was actually one of the first things we did on this car um, and I had a, like quite a huge bass box in the trunk, um, which wasn't doing much because the, the gas tank is between the back seat row yeah, yeah. and the interior. So you didn't really hear much of the bass, um, but actually one time I went like a little sideways with the car and the bass box was sliding all the way to here and we have a little dent in the car because of that and um, then and there I decided we don't need the space box, we yeah. just move oh it out dear. but the sound is still great. <laughs> so this is because of your subwoofer and yeah. some, uh, some very uh, 
we shan't say we, sh we won't say aggressive driving exuberant driving yeah because rear wheel drive obviously learn. rear wheel drive obviously the thing i do like about your car Shireen, though is that it's not perfect it's not a garage queen you know we do have some little scratches and stuff like that it is a daily driven classic but yes. underneath the story is quite different isn't it yes so underneath the car is fully restored so actually last week we did the sills um it's just finished and my last, last week yes wow <laughs> <laughs> uh, my last priority was the aesthetics it, it desperately needs a paint job one day but you know everybody that owns a classic car knows it's an ongoing project yeah it project never is stops. never finished yeah yes. indeed actually it has an exhaust a sports exhaust oh so you do have an exhaust as yeah, well yeah we have a little bit of aesthetic amazing <laughs> amazing so paint's coming next um and then this car should be beautiful yeah absolutely stunning anyway there's one more thing that i want to look at and that's the engine can we have a look of course. Oh, here we go. Actually, just let's put it in the service position. This is one of my favorite position. Mercedes features, service position for a bonnet. Oh, I bet so you didn't nice. know about that, did you? <laughs> so this is obviously two liter, four cylinder engine. Yes, it is. And it actually has 300,000 kilometers on it. So um, a bit of a high mileage hero itself. Yeah, and we, we didn't do major things like change the radiator, or uh, some spark plugs, but nothing major. Nothing major, just no. serviceable items. You mentioned yes. an alternator as well. Yes, exactly. But, but apart from that, reliability on this engine, very good? Yeah, totally. Uh, I'm very happy. So this car drove every winter for 30 years and wow. it never was in a garage. Um, so it's a real daily driver. So that's what I like to hear. And tell me about some road trips. Have you done some long road trips with this? Uh, yes, of course. I also moved two times with this car, like put all my stuff in this car. It actually is very spacious. You wouldn't like expect that. So not only a <laughs> saloon car, but also a van. Yes. I love it. Uh, I also did some camping in that car. Like of course, I we mean, drove to the you? sea and just <laughs> slept in there. And I'm a tall person, but I can sleep in there very well. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that issue. I can sleep wherever I want. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, amazing to see that this two liter engine is still going strong after 300,000 kilometers. I bet it drives nicely as well. Should we go for a drive? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so Shireen, first time for me uh, in your car. Yeah. Feels nice and comfortable, nice and quiet inside here. What's it like to drive? Um, also <laughs> nice and comfortable. Yeah. It's like so easy to drive, especially for a 30 year old, old car. Yeah. Um, I've driven many old timers in my, my lifetime now. And I have to say, this is one of the most comfortable cars. Amazing. You really feel the quality, even yeah. after 30 years, it's all so smooth. Yeah. Also, uh, since I've gotten it, I think I drove 100, Thousand kilometers. Hundred thousand kilometers. Yeah. Wow. I got it with about two hundred thousand, and now that's it's amazing. Okay. So one modification I did on this car is um, when I was younger, I saw the five hundred E. Yeah, yeah. Um, such a cool classic, such a cool car, um, and it came with the like white indicators, and um, I felt very inspired by that. And now a lot of people um, say the hundred ninety E needs to have orange indicators but i like the look it just looks very clean but maybe one day i'll i'll change it yeah and off camera you were actually telling me that this car was imported tell me about that um yeah it's actually a french re-import okay yeah we have 190 e behind <gasps> do we yeah oh look at that we've got another one behind us give him a wave yeah <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> So imported from France, you said? Uh, yeah, it's a re-import from France. So there were like two or three pre-owners and uh, most of them were women. I think two of them were women. So it's a women's car. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and this is obviously a classic car now, but it doesn't yeah. have that kind of classic car lifestyle, does it? Because this doesn't get put away for winter. Um, no, so actually, even with the pre-owners, this car never had a garage home. Yeah. Um, and it was driven every single winter. Amazing. Um, parked on the street. And for that, it's in really good condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really, really withstood the te test of time. So you've obviously been on a lot of road trips with this car, but that's not all you've done, is it? You've, uh, you've done some pretty exciting stuff with this. Uh, yes, so one time I went ice drifting in Austria. As you do, yeah. 
specified ice drifting racetrack. Yeah. Um, and on the way there, the alternator broke down. We ended up on the border of Austria with that broken alternator. And um, I called a really good friend of mine, Robert, and um, he was organizing a new alternator. Oh, wow. Shout um, out to Robert. Because it was after 12 o'clock and we tried everything to get a new one from like a car part shop, but they were all closed at this point and it was a Saturday. And I somehow needed to get back home on Sunday. I had to work on Monday. Um, and and we we're, were like 500 kilometers from home <laughs> and then we managed to get a used alternator and the next morning we drove to the border I had to leave my car there oh uh, overnight yeah. I didn't sleep well that I didn't <laughs> sleep at all to be honest um, and then we drove back there and put it in there at 6 a.m. in the morning at this parking lot Amazing. next to the autobahn in minus 10 minus 10 degrees we <laughs> We quickly realized that it was the form of like the pre facelift oh, okay. um, alternator, which had a different cable. Oh. Uh, so we had to improvise there. It was uh, like risky business, but we made it. And first we went ice drifting. Of with course, this new yeah. alternator, of course. Um, then we went back home, no problem. And um, back home, I ordered a brand new one Fantastic. that actually fit the car. Mm, and I do like that. Perfect. So and it's also really important to mention as well, if, if you or anyone who has a classic Mercedes-Benz model needs a new part, then you can actually get those direct from Mercedes-Benz exactly, as well. Exactly, yes. So most of the parts are still available, but exactly. since the car is getting old, actually some of the parts are not anymore. So buy now, yeah. <laughs> as long as you can. <laughs> so this 190E is quite clearly your baby. You've had it for 10 years. You absolutely love it. You'll never sell it. Yes. Just sum up to me and everyone watching what this car really means to you. Um, it means, first of all, it means freedom for me because when I first started driving, um, and I, I first moved, like without the car, it wouldn't have been possible. So you've already worked with Mercedes-Benz with this model before? Uh, yes, yes, a couple of times. So since 2017, yeah. um, I've also drove a couple of rallies with other cars, with this car, yeah. and yeah. So it's quite fair to say that Mercedes-Benz DNA flows through your blood. Totally. Fantastic. Not only mine, but my whole family. That's so. nice. What a story. And also, tell me, where are we going now? Um, we're going to one of my favorite places in the whole world. Um, it's the barn where the horses are. I, I'm not only a car girl, I'm actually a horse girl Amazing. as well. You can yeah. be both. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's one of my, my most loved places. Fantastic. And you, so you enjoy riding? I really do enjoy riding. I do dress, uh, dressage riding. Oh, okay, nice. Being with all the animals, the horses, cats, dogs, just makes me so happy. And uh, when you come here, what do you do? You jump on a horse and then just completely switch off? Yes, totally. Your mind is free. Amazing. And I bet the connection with you and your horse is quite nice because a horse doesn't answer back, does exactly, it? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so a good relationship there. Speaking of relationships, what is your relationship like with the Mercedes-Benz community? Oh, actually, it's very good. Um, every time I post something on social media or the car, like 99.9% .9 of the comments are always positive and the community is really helpful. Whenever I had a question, I could simply ask and had the perfect answer. Amazing. And what about kind of Mercedes local events? Are there many of those about? Uh, yes, so I've recently been to the Mercedes-Benz Museum uh, Baby Benz Special at the Cars and Coffee. It was so nice. Uh, so many Baby Benz, 190 e Oh, cars. amazing. I bet you're in your happy place there as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, then, Shireen, thank you very much for letting me be part of your day. It's been great to get to know you. Also, to hear the story about your amazing little Baby Benz. I, for one, have really enjoyed being driven in this. And I'm sure you guys have really enjoyed seeing the car. If you'd like to see more of this series, then make sure you subscribe to the Mercedes-Benz YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, like and comment below what car you would like to see. From us, I think it'd be rude not to go for another little drive. Sure, let's do it. Fantastic. See you guys next time.